now. Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Every day, from, from, from the beginning of the day, early in the morning when it's cold, to middle of the day when it's hot, <laughs> to the end of the day when you have to start bundling back up, where are we now? Oh, goodness. Well, right there, where you have the heat on overnight, and then maybe switch to the AC in the middle of the day, and then put the heat back on. If you're headed to the Huntsville Christmas Parade, dress in layers? Yes, yeah. dress in layers. Now, it's going to get progressively colder, but you also might yeah. want to bring an umbrella. It's more of an insurance policy. There we um, go. We'll be in the storm tracker, though, we so will. We, we won't need an umbrella. All right, take a look right now at uh, the Calhoun Community College, Way 31 Sky Cam Network, powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. The Space and Rocket Center looking absolutely lovely, but take a look at those flags billowing. It is another breezy day here in North Alabama and Southern Tennessee. 31 Triple Doppler is completely dry at 1117. Now, most of us will stay that way for the rest of the day today, but not all of us. Temperatures at the moment hanging out in the 50s for us. 50 in Gunnersville, 52 in Haleyville, and 53 up in Athens. So conditions are still on the chillier side of things. If you're headed out to an early lunch, go ahead and and grab a jacket with you as you head out the door. Our high temperature today sitting in the upper 50s and we're going to keep that breezy wind. So even though we'll be in the upper 50s, we'll be feeling closer to the mid. Some of us even low 50s. So hang on to your hat if you're headed outdoors. Well, tonight is one of my favorite nights of the year. The Huntsville Christmas Parade takes over downtown. Chris and I will be there and it's sure to be a good time. But here's the thing. Bring an umbrella just in case. And I really do mean just in case more of it as an insurance policy than anything else. You're also going to want a jacket, but you can probably leave the gloves at home. 52 when the parade starts, 48 when it ends. So chilly, but not downright frigid. Let's take a look at some of that isolated rain I'm tracking, and it really is isolated. It'll ma mostly maintain right near the Alabama-Tennessee state line, starting in Lawrenceburg at around 5, 530. The system continues to track east, bringing just a touch of rain. Now, this is 7 o'clock, one hour after the parade starts, and it is showing rain moving through Huntsville proper. However, this is a sloppy system. There's no true rhyme or reason, so it is not guaranteed that it will rain on our parade, literally or figuratively. The system continues to track east, bringing some very isolated showers through the rest of dinner time. One or two drops of rain remain by bedtime, and then when we all wake up on Wednesday morning, conditions are partly cloudy and completely dry. Speaking of wake up temperatures, of wake up conditions, let's talk about those temperatures. When we wake up on Wednesday, we'll be sitting in the mid 30s. That means you could have a very thin layer of ice on your windshield, but not much more than that. However, take a look at first thing Thursday morning, our high te our low temperature, excuse me, sitting in the upper 20s. So very, very cold. Once you factor in the windshield, we'll be feeling like the mid 20s. You'll definitely have frost on your windshield at that point. You should also make sure you bring in your outdoor pets and plants with those sub freezing temperatures. It is hard to stay safe for anyone or anything outside. Our high temperatures gradually warming for the rest of the week. Cold on Wednesday, 49, then moving up to 59 in just one day's time, and then sitting at 62 degrees on Friday. Now, I want to let you know we're good on Friday. We're good on Sunday. However, on Saturday, I am watching a system that's going to bring some late evening and even overnight rain and storms. It's too early to say for sure if it is going to be severe, but I just want to alert you that it's something we have our eyes on. Check in with Taylor tonight and me again this time tomorrow so that you can get the most updated radar outlook on that. Some rain will start to move into the Tennessee Valley around late afternoon and then start staying strong with us through dinner time, bringing torrential rain and gusty wind, plus plenty of flashes of lightning starting around 8, 9 o'clock. The system continues to move east and tracks through our area all overnight and into very first thing on Sunday. So that's what we're keeping our eyes on is exactly how much instability and movement there is with this system. Now, some models are showing some flurries in southern Tennessee, but I want to let you know our overnight low temperature is not low enough for any major snow or any of that snow to stick. So a few of us will see flurries and then that will be all. Let's take a look at your 10 day forecast for us. There we go. We have a whole lot to talk about there, including wake up temperatures in the 20s, rain on Saturday into Sunday, and then more sunshine returning later next week. It is actually starting to feel a little bit more like the season it is. It sure is. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> All right, Grace, thank you so much.